Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check the Flybook BT Nano, an extremely small Bluetooth model which is going to enable you to connect your iOS and Android devices to a Betaflight flight controller and configure it wirelessly over Bluetooth using SpeedyBee's app. The Flybook BT Nano is priced at about $7. It comes inside this pretty small box and inside along with the Bluetooth model you can find four 10cm long silicone wires. As you can see, the BT Nano is much smaller than SpeedyBee's Bluetooth model, which I've previously reviewed. It weighs only 0.4 grams, and its outer dimensions are 13 by 11.6 by 1.5 millimeters. On the top side of the BT Nano, you can find the Bluetooth antenna, the electronic components, and an LED that is going to indicate whether the device is on, and also if a Bluetooth connection has been established. On its other side, you can find four pretty big pads for connecting the BT Nano to your flight controller. The left pad is the ground, next to it you can find the VCC in, next to it the RX, and on the right side you can find the TX pad. The TX pad is going to be soldered to a free RX pad on your flight controller, the RX to a TX pad, and the walk-in voltage of the BT Nano is between 3.3 to 5 volts. Now the BT Nano Bluetooth model is connected to the Flywood GN413S flight controller. So the ground is soldered to the ground, 4.5 volts pad on the flight controller is soldered to the VCC pad on the BT Nano, and RX1 and TX1 pads on the flight controller are soldered to the RX and TX pads on the BT Nano. Here is a closer look, and by the way, remember that RX has to be soldered to TX and TX to RX, and in case you encounter difficulties, the first thing that I suggest checking is that you didn't mix up these connectors. I also suggest using colored silicone wires and not just black ones because using a single color can cause confusion. The next thing that we need to do is to connect the flight controller to a computer, open up Betaflight, hit connect, and under the ports tab, enable the configuration slash MSP switch next to the UART port that the Bluetooth model is connected to. Don't forget to hit save and reboot. And now we can power up the flight controller, Open up SpeedyBee's app, and as you can see, the Flywood BT Nano chip was discovered, and now we can configure the flight controller using SpeedyBee's app. When not connected, the blue LED on the BT Nano module is going to flash, and once connected, it's going to turn solid. Now, by the way, as you can see, even when the quadcopter is armed, we can still find the Flywood BT Nano chip, so it's not going to be automatically turned off when you arm your quadcopter. For Crossfire systems, it's not going to be an issue anyway, since Bluetooth is using the 2.4 GHz band, but for 2.4 GHz receivers, it's not ideal, even though the transmission power of this Bluetooth model is very low and probably won't cause any interference. So overall, I think that for builds where the micro USB port of the flight controller is blocked and will require you to use an adapter, and also for iOS users who can simply use an OTG cable like Android users, the Bluetooth Nano is a pretty good solution, especially on the go, just keep in mind that it will require you to use an extra UART port, which can be an issue, especially on micro builds, and in addition, it's not going to be turned off while the quadcopter is armed. So that's going to be it for my quick review of the Flywheel BT Nano. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.